This is the Chameleon SA1 SWR meter. It is a simple to use antenna analyzer that helps you tune your portable multi-band antennas. But it also has a secret feature. Keep watching as we look at the functions of the SA1 and its secret inside. a whole lot I can say about the Chameleon SA1. It's small, it's a handheld standing wave ratio or SWR analyzer that will help you tune your multi-band antennas. If you're like me, you're, an, you're a fan of a base-loaded vertical antennas, but you know it's really handy to have an antenna analyzer out in the field to adjust them to their resonant point. Now, you could do it the old-fashioned way, you know, by transmitting a carrier, uh, taking a reading with the uh, built-in meter on your, on your rig, and then making an adjustment. But that process is cumbersome, and it just adds to more QRM uh, to the bands. So the Chameleon SA1 solves this problem by letting you pick a frequency on the meter, and it will display the SWR in real time as you make the adjustments. Now, Chameleon Antennas did send me one of their SA1 units for review in exchange for this video, but my opinions are my own and there is no outside influence. So let's take a look at the SA1, its features, and how it works. The Chameleon SA1 is a compact, lightweight SWR analyzer that would be perfect in your portable antenna kit. Opening the box, you will find a 9 volt battery, a BNC to UHF adapter, and the unit itself enclosed in a protective velvet bag. The SA1 has a continuous frequency range of 1.6 to 160 megahertz, so it will be able to test the SWR for any HF and VHF antenna in the amateur radio bands. It can also display the SWR from 1 to 1 up to 19.9 to 1 for that antenna. Runtime of the battery is approximately 20 hours or 15 hours when you use the backlight. On the top of the meter is a small power switch, a BNC antenna port, and a socket that is labeled serial. We'll talk about the serial feature in a bit, but first, let's look at the front of the unit. The SA1 does not come with any instructions. Instead, everything you need to know to operate the meter is screen printed on the front of the unit. When you power on the meter, you will see the frequency and SWR on the dot matrix LCD display. Every time you turn on the unit, the frequency defaults back to 14 megahertz. To adjust the frequency, First, tap the knob to select the digit, and then rotate the knob to change the number. The unit is constantly testing the SWR, so there is nothing else you need to do. If you want to toggle the backlight, press and hold the center knob. That's it! The SA1 does one thing, and that's measuring SWR, so there is nothing else you need to set it up. A single function meter like this can be really handy in the field as it doesn't distract with unnecessary features. It's all in the goal of getting on the air quickly. So let's see how fast I can do that as I demonstrate setting up and adjusting a multi-band vertical antenna. To demonstrate uh, the Chameleon SA1 SWR analyzer, uh, today we're going to set up the Chameleon uh, PRV portable resonant vertical antenna in a uh, elevated configuration. I've got my tripod setting here, so we're going to elevate the uh, coil and whip, and we're going to use a single elevated radial in order to uh, demonstrate the meter. Uh, nice thing about that is that not only do we have to tune the uh, coil itself, but also we're going to need to use the meter in order to, to find the right length to tune that elevated radio for it. So let's, um, let's get the PRV uh, up and uh, on the air. Set this at about uh, 
14.250. Uh, right now it's just telling me I'm at 12 to one. So now the trick to tuning these um, vertical antennas with the elevated radial is to first get the coil or the whip length in the appropriate, at the lowest dip of the SWR, and then adjust the, radi the radial and then to, uh, to get it down even lower. And then when you're done, um, just uh, touch it up with some final tweaks. So. All right, we're at. Okay, we're at about 2.4 to one. We're about one point, we're at about 1.3 to 1, 1.2 to 1 at the moment. Um, we are super close. Oops. All right, now back to our radial here. See if we can tighten this up a little bit. And voila, we are at approximately 1.25 to one. I could probably, um, I think I, I eyeballed the length of my um, radiator, radial uh, just a little bit too close. So I didn't have to do a whole lot more adjustment. Uh, so let's bring this down in resonance for the 15 meter band. So um, adjust my frequency down to 21 and we're going to set it at about 21.3. All right. We're at 8.85 8 to one. I know I'm going to have to shorten this whip. All right, six to one, four to one. 3.6 to 1, 2.5 to 1, uh, 2.3 to 1, we're close. And we are at about 2 to 1 right now. Let's tighten up our radial. Since we want to be resonant, this will have to be at the appropriate length. All right, now we're actually about four to one. So, okay, all I did was, um, as I moved the um, uh, radio wire in, our SWR increased to four to one. Uh, what I did was readjusted the coil to give it a tweak, and now we've got a final tune of 1.2 to one, which is excellent, uh, very, very excellent. Uh, for the for the 15 meter band. So uh, let's finish up with um, setting this to the 40 meter band. 
Now for 40 meters, because we're using the 58 inch radi radiator, um, we're gonna need quite a bit more uh, coil. So, set my meter to 7.2. And right now we're at 12 to one, eight to one. Remember when doing these tests, always get, stand back about six, eight feet to take your readings. Uh, seven, three to one, two to one. Okay, uh, we're pretty close. We found, we found a dip almost, I'm gonna move my Wire all the way back. We're gonna need quarter wave, it's about 32 feet. So we're gonna have to go. I don't know if I got enough backyard for this. All the way to the to the bird feeder. All right. We are eight to one. Oh, four to one. One point nine to one. Oh, one point five to one. Yep, now we went up to two to one. So that was the dip. One point. Oops. Actually. And there we go, we're sitting at about 1.5 to one on the, on the 40 meter band. So um, uh, there you have it. Uh, that's basically <laughs> how you use the uh, SA1 uh, SWR uh, analyzer. Uh, super simple tool. It does one thing, it does one thing good and that's measure your standing waves. So um, you can tune resonant antennas like this, like the um, uh, Chameleon PRV um, rather quickly. Now I mentioned a secret feature of the SA-1 and that's the serial port that can be found on the top of the unit. On the Chameleon website there is an open source application that you can download that lets you plot SWR graphs with the meter and save them for later use. This would be handy if you wanted to visualize the bandwidth of your antenna or find the SWR dips of a multi-band antenna like an N-fed half wave or random wire antenna. In order to use the analyzer in this way, you will need a USB to serial TTL cable. The cable is not included, but you can find them online. You will want the cable with a 3.5mm TRS or tip ring sleeve jack. I have a link to a suitable cable in the video description below. To use the SWR software for the SA1 meter, go to the Chameleon website and download the application. The link is on the product page for the SA1. Install the software on your Windows PC. The program doesn't come with an installer shell, so you'll have to click through all the Microsoft antivirus warnings. The neat thing is, is that the program is open source, so if you want to extend the usefulness of the meter, you can go around and play with it. When the application is running, connect the SA1 via the serial cable. The software pulls the serial ports and will connect to the SA1 when it finds it. I found that sometimes the program doesn't initially see the serial port, but unplugging and plugging in the cable usually fixes that. 
The software itself is pretty self-explanatory. Enter a starting and ending frequency and the number of points you wish to record. The application then pulls the meter and builds an SWR graph. You can save the data or the image for further analysis. That's all there is to the program. It's a handy little application that lets you plot the SWR of your antenna. So what are my thoughts on the Chameleon SA-1? Well, the Chameleon SA-1 is a simple, easy to use SWR meter, and I think it fits a very specific niche within the antenna analyzer tools. Its sole function is to help you quickly and easily find the resonant point of your antennas. It has a constant SWR mode, so it's always measuring the SWR. You don't have to tell it to scan, uh, nor, you, nor do you have to calibrate it. It's ready to go as soon as you turn on the power. All you need to do is dial in the frequency, watch the display, and you know the nice thing about it is its simplicity. Now, if you're using a multi-band vertical antenna, like the Chameleon PRV, or the Wolf River Coil Super Antenna, or anything like that, or maybe just the plain old 17-foot vertical whip as a quarter-wave uh, resonator, you'll know that an SWR meter is an important tool in your kit. Uh, this unit, the SA-1, is cheaper than a rig expert, and it's easier to use than a nano VNA, so it really just fits in that perfect little niche there. Uh, you could almost dedicate one of these units to your antenna kit and leave it uh, the, leave your more expensive meters at home. But there's also a couple of downsides with this meter and you know if you're one of those people that needs to know every aspect about your antenna well then this tool is not going to be for you. Or if you're looking to purchase your first analyzer you know I probably wouldn't recommend it but if you're looking for a second uh, analyzer out in the field uh, without fear of damaging uh, your more expensive meter well then this is perfect. But there are a couple of downsides to this meter. If you're one of those people that uh, really needs to know every aspect of their antenna, then this is not gonna be for you. Or if you're looking to purchase your first analyzer, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But if you want a second unit for out in the field without fear of damaging uh, your more expensive meter, yeah, the, the, then this is gonna be perfect. Uh, the only other downside I found is that is in the sensitivity of this, this dial knob. You know, once you dial it in, it can be really easy to bump it off frequency, especially if you're moving around, holding the meter, and take, making adjustments. You know, some method of locking this dial uh, would have been really cool, but that's not a deal killer for me. Otherwise, the Chameleon SA-1 is a simple, easy to use SWR antenna analyzer. Uh, you can find it out on the Chameleon Antenna's website. Links to the product uh, are in the video description down below. So what do you think? Is this something that you want to have in your kit? Well, leave a comment and let me know. Thanks again to Chameleon for supplying uh, the SA-1 for this review. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. You have a great day in 73.